you guys. Welcome back to the Overcomfort Podcast. I am your host, Jenica Lopez. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening from wherever you guys are at, in your car, on your way to work, in the kitchen, in the shower, listening to me right here. I am excited because I have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite people in this entire world as a guest. Give it up for Helen. Ochoa. Oh my <laughs> God, I Ochoa. love her. Helen Ochoa, okay. sorry guys. She can call me that because I call her Jenny K. Yes. <laughs> Everywhere Helen I go, like Jenny K. Helen I'm Helen Helenor. She um, is gorgeous. You are too, babe. She's beauty and she's great. I love when she sings. She reminds me of Kylie Jenner. She's like, Miss <laughs> Guadalajara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I love it. If you guys don't, let me say, give it a little background. Basically, the only the way I met her is she's my sister's best friend. Absolutely. And I love her so much. She's such a great person to be around. I'm like, I Aww. want people to see that on the podcast. My friend. So, Helen, we are going to have a shot to start out. Jenny. Helen, uh, is, L- Helen lives in Guadalajara currently. As, uh, I do. The I do. The state of tequila. Así es. Tequila, but you know what? It's crazy. I've been at Tequila a couple times, and I and I live like down the street from there. But the crazy thing is, like, I've drunk more tequila at home than I have in that town. Okay. It's insanity. But we're we're gonna do it here on the podcast. It's only fair um, okay. because tomorrow we will be double H. Where are you going tomorrow? Uh, the airport. <laughs> double H. <laughs> well, double H in our term is hangover, hungover Helen. Yes. Because, you know. It's happened one too many times. We've tried to be good and it just never works. We've had walks of shame. Very big walks Not of shame. Not even shame. Just days. <laughs> just just walks. Those kind of walks. Okay. The blissful kind. After the shot, I would love for you to take over. Give them a little spiel about who you are, where hey. you're from, who, you know, where you're at currently in your life. Sweet. All that stuff. Okay, sweet. There we go. I put sal on these. I, I love it. However, I'm not a lemon girl. I like to take them straight really? up. Really? I do. Oh, well, I like to take them straight up. Myself, then. Well, then. That's cheers, my love. Cheers. Saludos a todos. Cheers, baby cheers. girl. Cheers. I love I'm you. very proud of this. <gasps> there we go. Well, my dears, my name is Helen Ochoa. I'm a regional Mexican singer, entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going into acting uh, slowly. It's um, It's been a little bit of a crazy road, but radico en la ciudad de Guadalajara, Jalisco. That's where my dad's from. My mom's from Mazatlán. I've been in music for a few years now. Um, and crazy enough, I, you know, I, I when I met Jenica, it was taking a shot at Janae's Winter Wonderland party. <laughs> <gasps> literally you're right that was the very first time i that's met jenica where hangover helen came from that's where hangover helen started there was a video from that day i thought i lost my phone and it was in my hand the entire time you came and down the stairs so confused. so confused where am i what's going on my makeup was still on i, I think i was in sandals it was pitch black it was actually janae's closet back in that oh time. yes you're right i woke up in her closet but but it was fun. It was a good time. And I knew almost immediately, like, um, I love this girl. Mm. I, I love Jenica. I'm not, I'm, I can't get enough of Jenica. She's, <laughs> to me, just a cutie patootie. And I just love her. I love you. I love you. Okay. Well, let me name all the things I love about Helen. <laughs> <laughs> It's already getting hot. It, it is. It's, it's already little, getting hot. It's a little warm. It's no, just a little warm. But I generally, and I'm so glad that you were able to come to the podcast, and I know you've Aww. had a long day, so I really appreciate okay. you taking the time. Aww, thank you, honey. And I know you live far. <laughs> Helen used to live in Fresno. I did. I did for a long and time. And then Mexico took her. It did. I Wait, was why there. Did, okay, I want to, can you explain why you left to Mexico? It, it's crazy. I, I left back in 2018. I actually went for music. I went to look for more opportunities in Mexico. I wanted to kind of establish myself in Mexico. And it's funny, Chiquis and I were talking about this earlier. And we're like, okay, it's so tough for our genre with with women. I think that's not mm-hmm. a secret. You know, it's so it, it's really crazy. But I think one of the biggest goals that all of us have is you know queremos conquistar mexico like we want to go over there we want to tour over there we want to be known over there and, and have opportunities the way men do over there you know and crazy enough um it was the best decision i could have made because i got to meet a lot of people i started to expand my brand and you know it's it's definitely been a long road and you know i got to do a lot of fun things and um 
one of them was definitely getting completely out of my comfort zone. Like it's a hundred percent, obviously Spanish. Yeah. Everything's in pesos, you know, and, and you get used to the lifestyle, you get used to the people, you get used to the, the driving, the driving is wild. <laughs> like it's, it is everything is, is a little bit of a culture shock when you're raised in the States for so long. But I think it was one of the best decisions we could have made. And now, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking my, my musical project in a little bit of a, of a different direction. And, and, you know, now my husband is working at a different record label, but he still kind of works my project as mm -hmm. well. So, I mean, I think it was what we needed at the time, even though, you know, we didn't know it because originally in 2018, when we did move, we were out there because we had a really bad breakup with our label at that time. It was really bad. I was like depressed. Okay. It was really, really bad. Wow. Cause I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? Mm -hmm. I had no money. Um, we, we basically had no apartment. Thank God there was like a flood in the building mm. and they were like, okay, so anybody that wants to leave right now, we're going to give you money to leave. Plus we'll give you back your deposit. No, and I was like, that is like the biggest blessing in disguise. That was God. Big time. I was like, thank you, baby Jesus, because we had no way to pay the rent the next month. Wow. Like, I think we had like, just like under a hundred dollars to our name wow. together. So I was like, what are we going to do? So I, at one point I was like, we should go to Mexico. And he's like, no, you're crazy. Like, we don't know anybody over there. That's a completely different country. Like we, there's no way we won't survive. And so one day I was like, okay, well, you know, we'll see what else we do. Let, let's just go back to Fresno. And then one day he's showering, he comes out. He's like, I have an idea. What if we go to Mexico? I'm like, fool, I've been saying that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we went over them. We were originally only going to go for three months and then it turned into six months. And then at some point I was like, you know what? I kind of like this. Like, this is a good place to to raise a family this is a good place to like continue to look for you opportunities would, you like would raise your family over there absolutely you know that's wow. that's something that we've been talking about a lot like i want my kids to speak spanish. full on spanish because i have you know i have 16 immediate nieces and nephews and they don't speak spanish i, I only have three that i can say can have a fluent conversation mm -hmm. with you in spanish i, I can speak with grandma yeah. you know y hablarle así en español perfectamente but the rest of them are like um, yo quiero uh, huevos con mm -hmm. chorizo and it's kind of like a, you know and there's nothing wrong with that but at the end of the day I want my kids to speak yeah. the language I want to be able to raise them in, in the motherland so to speak you know mm -hmm. and, and give them uh, a different aspect of life and also give them their education their primary education there and then slowly transition them over yeah. here like that's kind of like our you've already tested our the life. waters and you see absolutely and i have friends you know whose kids i i hear them speak spanish i hear how articulate they are and then how much you know they're they're they don't stutter i mean i yeah. stutter more than them like it's insanity and i'm just kind of like okay this is what i want this is exactly what i want for for my future family you know and so we both kind of talked about it and it's like that's what we want to do at least for the next a good eight years god willing everything's fine and we live and we're you know healthy that's that's the plan wow you know, so uh, has it helped you your career like moving out there because i know uh -huh. like when you started yeah and then i know like yeah it was wild it, it was so wild my god and you know i think um one of the the biggest i guess inspirations was your mom because i always thought like okay this this woman had so many obstacles in the road mm -hmm. so many people tell her no mm -hmm. you know in a million ways and for a million different reasons you know and i thought there's no way you know that that you know somebody that worked so hard and paved a way for us you know can can you know leave us physically and and we not follow those footsteps. So I'm like, I, I have to work hard. I have to keep going. I, I, I have to push forward. And, you know, I, I, I think the last two albums that I did right before I left to Mexico were honestly work that I was very proud of. Mm -hmm. And it did really well in sales. I was so excited about it. But it ultimately wasn't 100% things that I wanted to record. And that was the difference with going independent and moving to Mexico. Like, I was able to do everything that I wanted to do. And I'm like, okay, if I, if I fuck up, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is like, it's my fuck up. Like, yeah. it's my, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I, at least it's I tried your decision. Uh -huh. Exacto. And that, that's kind of what I wanted was like to be able to decide to do things for myself because for so long I couldn't. Like, yeah. I, I had 
a team and you know the team decides what sometimes what you wear what you say what you do who you're friends with you're i was product. not exactly i was not friends with your sister for a very long time yeah for that reason too you know and we knew each other we like we met and Things it was were made up yeah. all this shit but it was crazy because we were very friendly but i think everybody had that notion in their head of like yeah. you know it's it's you Been can't be friends each other. yeah mm -hmm. you can't be friends with these girls you can't be friends with any other girls in your genre and now i'm like man i have so many friends in the genre that it's like it's insanity like now we're all kind of like hey like uh, what are you up to uh, uh, ¿cómo te how can i be supportive of your of your work you know your art and mm -hmm. i think that's something that ultimately you know when i when i met your sister like really met her you know and really got to know her i'm like oh my god i i think i love this broad like she's amazing <laughs> you know and i it's funny because we talked about this after she's like i felt the same way you know i just didn't know how to like you know ultimately like you know okay like i i really like her and i'm like yeah I like it. and I, after that like that's when La Destrampadas came. Mm -hmm. And when we did Las Destrampadas, I'm like, man, this is amazing. Like, if we would have just done this years ago, this would have just, this would have been phenomenal. But, you know, I feel like God's timing is perfect. Of and, course. You know, now, um, now I'm thinking of, you know, putting out a couple love songs. Like, I got married three years ago. I know. Like, yeah, I'm like, and all of the songs that I put on after have not really been about love. And I'm like, I, I kind of have to pay I guess tribute to my husband because he's been a part of my ups and downs, oh, my whole God. journey, and he's seen the good, the bad, and the 16 ugly. Sixteen years, guys. Sixteen. Shout years. out Geppetto out Geppetto. there. Geppetto, <laughs> my James. James. <laughs> his, his name is not Geppetto, his, guys. His name is Juan Pablo, <laughs> not que ver, but we just we always call we him make that. up a bunch of names. JP James Geppetto, but he's literally been through all of it, yeah, and I'm so has. I'm very very blessed because he's never once said, you know, I'm not dealing with this shit. Like yeah. I have to turn around and go. Like he's I can't stuck do around. this. Yeah, absolutely. So. I'm very blessed. I've obviously seen like different perspectives, like how hard it is for a woman, especially in the music industry and especially Mexican. Oh my regional God. Mexican, obviously through my mom and my sister, but yeah. I would love to know like your experience. Holy crap. Um, it's brutal. It's so brutal. Like they will deliberately take an opportunity from you and give it to the person next to you just because he has a penis. It's really hard. You you kind of just have to smile mm -hmm. and roll with the punches. And deep down, you're like, what they've done that to you right in front of you, big time. Like it's it's something that unfortunately happens, and you know you you know that it's it's common. You know that it's there. You know that it's and it's still happening today. It's 2024, and I remember seeing an interview from Selena back in like the 90s where she was talking about how. You know, there's no opportunities for women. You know, they they kind of like downplay us a lot. And I'm like, holy crap, this is still happening now. You know, and I remember, you know, I have to revert back to your mom because I I went to dinner with her and a few mutual friends that we had. It was right before she passed. And I remember, um, you know, one of the things that happened was, you know, one of the girls there was like, Alan's a singer. She sings too. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you sing? I'm like, yeah. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, so bien puñetona. I'm super like. Yeah, my mom's also very intimate. No, and, and honestly, she was being super sweet. She was very chill. But I, well, I felt like the a, a little, presence. yeah, I felt like a hedgehog in a giant forest. I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? Like, she was just yeah, like. Rolled up in a ball. Absolutely. I'm like, God, this is Jenny Rivera. And it didn't help that I'm sitting at the table and. And this lady sits right in front of me. I was like, holy moly. Uh -huh. I got to like fix my shirt. I hope I don't eat with my mouth open. Like I felt really oh embarrassed. I'm like, God. dude, I, yeah, like, me tengo que portar bien. But you know, she, we, we were leaving, you know, and at some point I'm like, she's, I, I, I thought we were going to get in a fight because one of the girls is like, Jenny, she was looking at your ass as in JP. And he was, he's like, man, she's got a big ass. You know, and then all of a sudden she's like, were you looking at my ass? And he's like, yeah no james james oh I'm my like, god i never heard this story yes. i'm like oh she was we had just got back from she presented her album uh -huh. and right after the album release that's when we went to to dinner so uh, he made a comment about her butt like a couple times you know when <laughs> we, we james I I it. So, it. we go to dinner and then all of a sudden like one of the girls tells her like jenny he was looking at your ass and she's like 
you're looking at my ass? I'm like, oh. no. <laughs> Jenny Rivera is say. about to jump over this table and hit JP. <laughs> and I'm going to have to jump in. She's going to beat both our ass. But she looks at him and says, surprisingly, she says, thank you. <laughs> Said, it's been a while. Like it's been a while since another man has checked out my ass. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can breathe. I can breathe. That sounds so, like my mom. Yeah, but you know, it's, it was, oh she made us comfortable. God. So we're leaving the restaurant. Uh -huh. And um, I'll never forget this. There was a big truck that came and got her. And this is like a movie. She walks between the two headlights of the truck. All of a sudden, she turns around. She's like, I want to give you some advice. I said, okay. She said, you really want to do this? You got to work hard. There's no shortcuts. Just work hard. Work is your that, ass off. Is that she's, how she said it? <laughs> like, exactly. But in Spanish. Like, uh -huh. no, no hay, uh -huh. no hay corte. O sea, tú tienes que trabajar. Si tú quieres esto, tú tienes que trabajar. I was uh -huh. like, okay. Got it. Okay, I got it. And she looks at JP and she says, and you, you take a good look at this ass. Because <laughs> it's the last time you're going to see this ass in person. <laughs> she walks away in total, like, culpable, inocente mode. Period. Like, it was, I was like, yes, that oh was like our, God. and I was too embarrassed to ask her for a picture. I'm like very like respectful and I'm very like, me da mucha Aww, pena. So yeah. I never got a, like an individual picture with her, you know, but I, I, I got to be around her a couple of times and it was always intimidating. But I think she taught me that presence and attitude really is everything in what you want to do. And I think that's something that we always kind of remember now when we're going to put something out. If we're going to put out a song, sometimes I'll tell JP, like, oh, my God, like, what if it doesn't do that good? Or what if, like, you know, and he's like, hey, he's like, you never know. What if it does? Like, yeah. what if this is the one that breaks through? Like, you can't yeah. think that way. You can't, you can't be negative. And then we kind of always revert back to that moment of, remember what Jenny said? Aww, like, if you really want this, you have to work. So it's, like, something that kind of, like, recurrently, uh, how do you say it? Like, Re recurre en mi mente uh -huh. like siempre like it's something that we always think about and it, it's full circle for me that I think like I, I was able to do a song with Janae because now it Dude. feels like it, it's it's and that you guys are legit best friends yeah she's my she's my sister I love her Let's not say I love what her <laughs> I love her they honestly no and I'm so great and I told you who was it we had a the slumber Christmas, party Christmas this the that Christmas, was a great time. <laughs> girls Christmas party. We Honestly, had a summer was party. the sweetest thing. But mm -hmm. no, I, at that moment, I was like, wow, like this is a great circle. Like my yeah. sister's surrounded by good people. Like, And yeah. I know that it was difficult for her too. So I'm uh -huh. so glad that it's not butting heads no how everyone wanted it to yeah. be like especially in in the industry like it's yeah. so ugly like let's not just let's yeah. not make it ugly exactly but and i think like i think a lot of people didn't understand us uniting at first they probably even thought it wasn't real you know or they probably thought that it wouldn't last or whatever but I'm t the very first time we sat down to talk it was 2019 and I I remember I was a little bit scared to like message her and my husband said, you know what, just send her just send her a DM. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, what if she doesn't respond or what if she takes it the wrong way? I, I'd rather not. Like I'm very like they, I'm really embarrassed when it comes to those things. Oh, and yeah. it's like, just lose your fear, just do it. So I did. Then we went to sit down and eat. And you know, in that time, you know, she she was there um with, you know, somebody that she she used to be with you know like i came with jp and like we were just kind of like okay we don't know what's gonna happen we even did a prayer in the car mm. we did a prayer in the car before walking in as we didn't know what was gonna happen i'm like i'm gonna know by the hello i always know who someone is based on the hello yeah it's so weird. you could see the vibe already absolutely mm -hmm. so i'm like okay i'm gonna know how is this is gonna go we open the door to the restaurant i walk in i'm looking around and i hear helen we're right here. Aww. That's how I knew. That's you knew exactly. you were gonna find I love. Knew. She had during that time she had short hair, so her little bob was like, Aww. I'm right here. So I went, I sat down, I was like, oh, I like I calmed down, I let my guard down, yeah. I let everything out and just kinda hey, like we started talking and she was like, Oh, I have a meeting. I'm like, Oh, we have to get to Fresno. We were only gonna be there for maybe an hour, hour and a half tops. We were there for five hours. Just talking and talking Aww. and talking. And I was like, Oh my god. 
okay. I was like, well, well, we'll see each other again. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll keep in contact. Um, and then as soon as we got in the car, I turned around. I told my husband, I think I love her. <laughs> I, I think I love her. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, Aww. she's amazing. Why didn't we do this before? What, what were we thinking? I'm like, I don't know. How, I don't know what the hell we were thinking, you know. And yeah. after that, like, we we could relate to so many things. You know, not just music, you know, but I think that's why the musical part came so easy. And I yeah. think when we did the Strampadas, you know, I I was just, I was so excited to be part of something that was like historical, that had never been done. You know, three girls in regional Mexican. And, you know, I know Ellie was kind of like, you know, oh my God, like, amiga me invito. Like, I'm, I'm excited. Like, this is amazing. And then I remember when we were at the video shoot, um, our manager comes and tells us like hey guys just so you know like she wants to go ahead and split everything three ways I'm like no this is her song this is her like doing he's like no 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 this is what she wants to do and I was just kind of like okay mm -hmm. th that's amazing like nobody does that nobody no it, it just I, I understood then and there that it's not just about hard work it's not just about creating art it's also about you know being okay with letting other people shine and and being okay with saying, hey, this is a big pie, yeah. but you can have a piece too. Yes. So it's it something that she taught me. Everybody. Absolutely, oh. I loved it. I love, I love her. We love them. Shout out to them. Okay, we're shout gonna, out to my babe. We're gonna go on a quick break. Absolutely. We're gonna come back and have a shot, <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right, Helen, welcome back, you guys. Let's take this shot. We're gonna okay. take another one. Cheers, my dear. Clink, clink, clunk. I need these glasses. They're actually espresso shots, glasses. That makes me even happier. Mm -hmm. They're multi-use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been used to this since I was 12. Because Honestly, I, would, I would take little shots to sing. Like my parents would give me a little bit of a, so that I can sing. And like, it warms up the throat. Yeah. It, <laughs> that's what In she other said. <laughs> In other ways, in um, other ways, <laughs> not just that, ladies, <laughs> helps with the singing. Well, okay, so I thought it'd be fun to play this cute little game. Okay, right? I, I'm excited. Look, because I love you and you give great advice, Helen. You speak so well. Oh, you're sweet. It's also one of my favorite things about her. Well, I'd even say the list of things that I love about Helen. Oh, my Janica. I love that you are very genuine. Oh, thank you. You're so fun no matter what. I've never seen you in a bad mood. Oh. Thank you. I would love to see you in a bad moon. I'm 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 gruesome. I'm a chola. I'm gonna talk to James <laughs> about that. I feel like I have an older sister, another older Aww. sister. Like I could talk to you about anything, like sex. Absolutely. Importantly, more importantly, it's drinking. very important. Absolutely. I've had a lot of great times and a lot of good memories with you, and I yes. love that you're my sister's best friend. Aww. And I love how you take care of her, and you guys take care of each other. Aww. Thank you, babe. So stop trying to make them not friends. We are sisters from another mister. They're stuck. <laughs> they like will, butt cheeks. <laughs> their butt cheeks together? <laughs> a lot of ass. A lot of ass. <laughs> Dude. That's a lot. It's tank ass when we're together. Like. Okay. So I have this game called Amiga Circle. Okay. Created by We All Go Latina. Mm. They're conversation cards. I don't know how I got this, but I got it. So if you guys are interested, please buy this. Love, love, love what this does. I played this on Galentine's. It's not even a game, but it is just cute little conversations. Okay. And things that we could do. Okay. So there's grow, commune, and heal. And heal. Heal deck. We can't move forward without healing. Commune Absolutely. deck. Without our community, we are nothing. Absolutely. And grow. When one grows, we all grow. Absolutely. Please go ahead. Choose okay. one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me mix them up. Absolutely. You know, I think that's important so that we don't like we genuinely get a surprise. Yeah. On on what we're going to answer. Yes. yes All righty. Yes. Let's go with. Which one do you want, Helen? Mm. Let's go with grow first. Grow. I like it when we grow and things that grow. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Ladies. Ladies. Men. Let's go with grow. Men what too. What grows? <laughs> what grows? What's long and grows? Let's see. What's long and gross? Caterpillars. Caterpillars, <laughs> Jenica. What were you thinking, my dear? I was thinking the exact same thing. Ooh. Okay, go. Is this for you or for me? Are you asking me? Yes, you're right. I'm going to have to ask you this okay, one. Okay, go. How do you process transition 
or change? Ooh. You know, I used to have a hard time, right? I'm going to be very honest. We're going to get really deep here. Okay. And I'm going to tell, obviously, again, this goes back to me feeling very comfortable with Helen in my life. And she I knows everything her. about me. Absolutes. Um, I think I embraced it when my mom passed away. <sighs> because it was a change from night to day. Yeah. And I didn't know what I was doing with my life. Aww. So I've learned to, and it goes also to understanding God's plan and yeah. his purpose. And really relying and having a lot of faith mm. and trusting that process. Yeah. Because I used to not be a good at change. Like, I would hate it. I mean, and I think my PTSD, like, kind of reflects that now. Like, I I have a fear of abandonment. Yeah. Like, I have a fear, like, people are just going to disappear one day. Claro. Um, if someone doesn't text me in the morning, I kind of freak out. Mm -hmm. Like, I just have little, little things. But I've learned to really trust God in the process. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's like... I don't know. I just feel like it, it It shows us different things in life. And I'm a lot, I made me harder, but a lot stronger. Totally. Like I'm harder yeah. in the sense like, okay, I, I know something else is not going to affect me as much as this. Yeah. And I'm very well aware of like, you know, yeah. Who's around me, what I do and like claro. accepting, accepting change that it's normal. I think your mom raised five soldiers within you guys. And I have to say, you know, I, I thought about this earlier as we were talking in the car. I was with your sister earlier. You know, we we're talking about a few things, but I'm like, I think she would be so proud looking at her kids, mm -hmm. looking at everything that you guys are doing, looking at everything that you guys are, are defending and ultimately everything that you've become. And I think that that's something that you should always take with you, you because, you know, sometimes we, we think... You know, what would that person think? What would that person do? What mm -hmm. would that person feel about this situation? And we wouldn't, we'll never know, you know, we'll, we really never know. But I, I genuinely feel like she would be 100% supportive of you guys and 100% proud, really fucking yeah. proud of everything you guys are. Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Okay, your yeah. turn. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna, I Holy feel Jesus. feel for you, okay? Okay. Oh, I'll do it in Spanish. <gasps> en momentos de estrés, ¿qué te ayuda a reducir el estrés? Holy Dickerson. Well. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest things that helps me no, tell with me stress, wrong. honestly, is um, my husband. His words, his, you He's know, his, absolutely, his mantras, like I, I, you know, I, we were talking a lot about him this week, my friends and I, because I, you know, I was telling them I'm a person, I don't have a perfect relationship and I don't have a perfect husband, just like he doesn't have a perfect wife, Yeah. you know, but I really genuinely believe that he's exactly what God intended for yeah. me, you know, and, and I, I come with so much baggage. We were raised so differently. Mm. We, we are completely opposites of each other and so many things and how we deal with things i'm one of those people that you know I, I can't blame my zodiac sign like if i'm acting like a bitch i'm acting like a bitch it's not because i'm a capricorn it's just i'm being a bitch you know i'm just in a bad mood you know and i think those are the things that yeah, like we yeah. have to stop doing as a society we just have to accept that sometimes nos gana la ira nos yeah, gana nos gana for sure. you know la, el pendejismo y todo lo que tú quieras but i think with stress specifically i always think about how much you know, he, he stressed helping me in my times of mm. depression and my times where I had major anxiety, my times where, you know, I was even suicidal and he never, ever, I, I thought at some point like, oh my God, this man's going to wake up tomorrow and go, I'm not dealing with this shit. Like I can't do this anymore. I'm going to run. Like I'm going to run while I'm still young, while I still can. And he never did. Wow. Like, he never did. He, every day he would wake up and, hey, babe. Come on, today's going to be a good day. Get up, take a shower, like get ready, go to the gym, you know, uh, yeah. write, write some music. I'm going to read something, go outside, put your feet on the grass, you know, take the dog for a walk, whatever. Like, so, so he helped me to embrace the fact that we will stress sometimes he and it's okay. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. So yeah. you mentioned about you having baggage. I feel like I have yes. a lot of baggage too. It, we do because we went through trauma, you know, okay, our traumas so how are do different. You, how do you, you let? Know? Okay. 
I think I just have to accept that what was, was. Uh-huh. That's not what's happening to me now. You know, I'm not in that situation now. Okay. Like, in, in any way, shape, or form. Like, there was a time where, man, I, I didn't have any money. I didn't have a plan. I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have anything. And I couldn't run to my parents. And it was easy. You know, my parents, they're very much supportive of, of us six girls. I'm the fifth of six girls. Like There's it's, only girls? It's all bitches in my house. And, and I mean <laughs> bitches. You know, they're crazy. But I was like, man, it's so easy to just call my dad and be like, hey, I'm having a really hard time financially. Like, I, I can't put groceries in my fridge. But I'm like, no. Like, yeah. he has enough dealing with his life and things going on at home. I don't need to stress him out more. Mm-hmm. I need to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I would figure it out. I'm like, man, like, I, si puedo, pues. Si puedo. So... I think um, the kind of baggage I come with stems from, you know, just being in a household where, you know, our life was crazy. You know, my dad was a completely different person when I was a child to who he is now, you know, and and he's my bestie. He's like, you know, I I talk to him, he's my compa, you know, but back in the day, you know, there was a time where I was just like, I was afraid of my dad. I was kind of like, you know, it, it just... It was a completely, uh, you know, just hostile environment. And JP grew up in a house where it was all love and rainbows. You know, his parents never argued in front of him. You know, they they don't say cuss words. They don't like, they 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 just don't. You know, they they pray the rosary together, and you know, they're a very united family. And so are we. You know, but we have a lot of like you know, crazy, you know, personalities and, and yeah, ultimately childhood traumas that, you know, I I had to like, okay, I have to leave this where it was. Like, I can't bring this into my relationship now because we want to be parents and I want to be able to raise my kids in, in the kind of environment that, that I can feel proud of. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I had to like, ultimately figure out. Cause, yeah. cause you do. You have to figure out how you're gonna do it because you're not used to it. You're but Japes not. was there through all like that baggage and stuff. I, too? I think he got the worst end of it. He Ooh. got the unhealed me, and oh my god, the unhealed me was a fucking mess. Yeah. I was a mess. Like, mm-hmm. I really legit sometimes would tell him, like, I don't think, like, I'll last from here to a month like i'm not happy i'm i'm sad i I had like this really awful chronic sadness and i now i think back and i'm like oh my god i cannot imagine a family member a spouse you're you're the person you love telling you that they might just walk the plank any day now like what that feels for them yeah absolutely so it's like i i have to respect him i i absolutely have completely different kind of admiration for him wow. than i do anybody else because he's he's a fucking trooper big time well, I never knew <laughs> that about he's you. a trooper yeah he's a bigger trooper than me because he he he's stayed it yeah he stayed he time. saved you absolutely I, yeah he really saved you yeah <laughs> damn japes <laughs> i need a japes yeah 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 they're they're good people he's he's good people he's a good person he's a good man he's he is my everything ah! <laughs> he is the little the little, the little cute a lot of everything right yeah. there amen <laughs> we're grateful for james absolutely i'm honest i would be, i'm grateful because i know you wouldn't be here absolutely yeah Helen, <laughs> I want. I love you. I love you more, <laughs> kettle. You. Okay, your turn. Go. Okay, I'm gonna go with commune. Okay, my loves. We're going to commune. Okay. <clears throat> Who? What is something? Ooh. None of us. Oh. Know about you. And I don't want to hear any. I only eat the whites off the Oreos. <laughs> um. I can't say it on camera. It's dirty. It's not dirty. It's just <laughs> a really deep secret. It's it's private, probably. It is. It's just very private. That's okay. It is. It's it private. is one that I am very sensitive toward, towards. <laughs> that I have a lot of like, <sighs> like yeah, not a lot of people know. So Aww. 
I will tell you privately. Okay. Sweet. Okay. I will do grow for you. Okay. Sweetness. Name a moment you thrived despite difficult circumstances. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Okay. I, um, okay. This is one of my, my best, one of my best moments. Okay. Okay. So this was in 2016 and, um, El Buki, you know, Marco Antonio Solis yes. was doing a concert in Culiacán. Okay. And he was one of like my childhood idols. Like I would listen to him literally when I was like three years old. And I think I just gave away my age. But anyway, <laughs> he, he's amazing. <laughs> he is amazing. And I, I used to listen to his, to his cassettes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, cassettes. Carl, and, Alan, just say how old you for are. The, for the Gen Z's, I'm 39 motherfucking years <laughs> old and I look fabulous. Look at how gorgeous uh, she is. Tell me my freaking physique ain't fabulous because you know what it is, bitch. She has a nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> but in fin, you know, he, uh-huh. he had this big concert. It was at the stadium in Culiacan. It was my first time performing in Mexico. And um, it was really hot. I was freaking hoarse. How do you... Tenía la garganta bien jodida. It was bad. You know, and, and there were so many things that I was being told, you know, it has to be perfect. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to... It was a million things. But I was like, okay. I, I, the minute I got on that stage, I was like, okay, I'm... There's nothing I can do but just enjoy this moment. Mm-hmm. And I have to. Otherwise, this is going to be for nothing. Mm-hmm. So I did. That was, the, I think, one of the first concerts that I actually had fun. And I, I thought, okay, these people don't know me. You know, they're... they're you know, either going to absolutely love what I'm doing or me van a sacar aquí botellazos because sometimes they do. Like, it's, it's so scary. That's what I had been told. So I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I'm not trying to get a bottle to the head. You know, so I, I finished the show. I was done, you know, and then they come and tell me, hey, he wants to come say hi to you. I was like, oh, my God, you know, it's, this is like, you know, huge. So I went, I, I'm like, I went, I said hi to him and, and you know, he's like, oh, good job. Thank you so much. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I, I, I feel amazing. And um, he invites me to sing uh, Como Tu Mujer with him. That was one of my favorite songs growing up. I went up there and I'm like, okay, whatever has happened in the past, uh, no matter what happens in the future, I'm always going to have this memory yeah. when i was little i used to i used to fight with one of my little cousins because she used to say los bookies son meals i was like no son meals that day i felt like los bookies son meals el bookie is meal like this is like my moment uh-huh, like, uh-huh. this is amazing that that was literally one of like the moments that i think i i will forever cherish and and an opportunity i know that doesn't come twice maybe you know but and it, and it didn't like it was the only time i had but it was it was magic. It was amazing. And when I got off that stage, I was already leaving to the Camerino and it was hot. I was drenched in sweat, you guys. Like the outfit was soaked. It was bad. So I'm like, I have to change my clothes because this is gross. So I went, I was about to change and I hear like, Helen, Helen, Helen. I turned around and it was like the other half of the stadium. They were chanting my name. I was like, what is this concoction? <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. I went, I, I was like, who do, is Helen? No, I was like, oh, do they mean this one? Like, what is happening? So I went, I'm like, hi. Hey, everybody. Uh-huh. And it was it was for me. I was like, this is, they're chanting my name. So I went, I was like, hi. And I was like, oh, my God. Que bonito canto, oiga. Que bonito. Like, I was like, oh, gracias. Like, I just felt, I felt like a million dollars. It was beautiful. Uh-huh, yeah. So I went, I changed my clothes. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I, I'm very hard to cry, like very hard. My 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 husband and I have laughed about this, and, and also like uh, because I, you know, lloro por nada. Like it's yeah. really like uh, you know. But that day, I literally was like, Tear! like it just uh-huh. felt like surreal, but it was beautiful. Wow. It was amazing. I love that Helen. She's like, who? <laughs> what Helen? Me? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, is anybody else's name Helen? <laughs> Over here, <laughs> you sir, <laughs> with the cable, imagine. But yeah, it was it was me. <laughs> it was lovely. Wow. It was lovely. Yeah, you learn new things every day. Absolute fucking lovely. Okay, let's go on a quick break, and then we're gonna okay. come back. We'll play again. Take a shot, and yeah, we'll be right Sweetness. back. Sweetness. All right, you guys, welcome back. We were just talking about how Helen is really good at well, off camera. We were talking about how Helen <laughs> is really good at 
telling a conversation like a story Aww. like you need your voice you would be a great disney princess i love that or like a narrator i would like, think i'd be like a disney second like a i don't know, like donkey from shrek or, or like <laughs> an, an audiobook yes, yes i would love to do that you're great at that oh, dude yeah. and not only that but you've obviously done things for my mom as well yes ellen you've done I, You're I, really an actress. I got to imitate your mom or, or pay homage to her. You yes, know, it was yes, more yes. like a tribute with uh, "Tu cara me suena." I, I'm gonna be honest. That was easily the hardest character that I had because I was like, "You guys don't understand, Jenny fans, and you don't understand that I'm I'm I love her children. Like I have a relationship with her children. This has to be pretty." And so they were like, "Okay, so that what do we beautiful. do?" Oh, and it was. I Gorgeous. worked so hard. It was so hard. And I didn't know what song they were going to give me. Like, I, I didn't even know they were going to give me that character, you know, because they mm -hmm. gave us different characters every week. But I think ultimately it was like, okay, you you have Jenny. What what song do you think you're doing? I'm like, I don't know. What song am I doing? I thought I was going to do Ovarios, but they're like, no, you're doing Inolvidable. I was like, oh, Lord. I'm like, okay, it's even scarier. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, so... You know, let's go ahead and like let's let's figure like what we're gonna wear, we're gonna do. They're like, oh, this is the video we're gonna do, and it was this uh, concert that she had at the Gibson. She was wearing the little black mini dress, and you know, your mom had booty. Yeah, that's a lot of booty. I was like, okay, I have some booty, have but booty. I need I need extra trunk. Like I don't <laughs> have as much trunk as this woman has. I don't have as much hips. Like I I really need to like make sure I like you know fit this like this part this this you know tribute. And then they brought out the shoes, and I was like, Jenny doesn't wear those shoes. She wore the really big platform mm -hmm. with the thin stiletto. So it was like everything down from Just the shoes. Just it was a stripper heel. Absolutely. It was a, it was a stripper heel. I'm like, ella, ella, ella no salía si no era yep. en la, santa, la santa plataforma que casi, yep. inch, 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 inch. You know what I mean? I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to like make sure the shoes like legit. And the, the hair, everything was like. It has to be a hundred percent like I appreciate that. on her. It was it was crazy. We were we were so tedious about everything. And at some point we were like, okay, you know, they're they're gonna get mad at us because we're being really picky. But it was really, really important that it came out almost like perfect. Mm. And you know, that day I was like, okay, nothing else matters, but you know what, what her kids think. No one else does. No one else's opinion matters to us more mm, than her five Ellen. children. So we're like, as long as her children like it and they're happy and they're, you know, they're they're excited about what we're doing, then we're happy. Yeah. You know, I think all of you guys commented. Yeah. Hey, it was really nice. Thank you. That was like, that was the most fulfilling thing for us. And that day, we did really good. Like our points Aww. were super high. Like everybody was really happy about it. And I ultimately felt like this is like a full circle moment. Like. From the dinner, yes. like, for example. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, you want to do this, you got to work hard. So I worked my ass off. Like, literally, I'm like, I don't have enough cola for, for, <laughs> for Jenny, but we made it work, and it was like... Ellen, you have some ass. Was, I've got some cola, but... It, don't, you know, don't... I, I'm not going to downplay her. Don't downplay her. I'm not, but... I get what you mean. Mama J had that ass. Yeah, she did. She had ass. She did. She did. <laughs> but it was amazing. I will accept that for her. Absitutes. All right, you want to go first? I'm going to go first, and we have another shot. Oh, she she remembered. I, I was trying to let it go, but guys, okay. I sat in this chair with really healthy hair. I'm pretty sure it's frizzy now. No, it looks gorgeous. She's sweet. <laughs> she is sweet. In other words, she be lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> My hair's pretty frizzy, too. It's totally it's, fine. It's, Janiqua. We're at the end of the day, you guys. We're at I'm the end with of the Helen. Day, you guys. I, I had is, a long trip today. Yes, we had, a but lot. it is currently 10.45. It is early. It is early for a Thursday. But here we are. Cheers, no my love. The person I'd rather be with. Amen. Cheers, babes. Mm. Okay, my loves. Okay, go, Helen. Here we go. Let's go with heel. Okay, go. <sighs> okay. Please. What have you done recently that helped you improve your well-being? Wow. That card was meant for me. It wants me to talk about it. <clears throat> I What had... has thou done it? <laughs> what has thou done it? Um, I think just do things for my mental peace. Yeah. My mental health. 
and really f- minding my own business. Oh my god! Like oh my god! As much as I would love to help somebody, yes, or be there for somebody, I'm not going to because it's not my business, and I'm gonna mind my own business. Absolutely, and not get somewhere where you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, that's all it is. I learned that recently. It's hard. It sucks. It. You might it's lose not someone. Even to be nosy. No, yes. you it's might lose someone be because there of for it. that person. Exactly. So sometimes people are not ready to hear that they're wrong, or they're not ready to hear, you know, that that the situation is their fault or whatever, yeah. or you know, hey, they're they're just not ready for your kind of support. If your support comes from a place of honesty, because some people want you to support them as long as you support their point of view. But if their point of view is something you don't agree with, then I'm sorry, I support you, but I'm going to tell you, motherfucker, you wrong. Yep. You know, it's, and it's, yeah, absolutely. Yep. I can completely relate. I had yep. incidents galore in 2023. Yeah. It sucks. It does suck. But that's right. the one thing I'm learning. Absolutely. Right. How do you experience? <laughs> I can't answer this for one. <laughs> How do you experience pleasure? Ready for this one? Go. Ah! <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If I'm honest, nothing gives me greater pleasure <laughs> than giving pleasure to my husband. There you go. In every way, not just sex. Yes. You know, yes, like yes, making yes. him happy. Like sometimes I'm a little hard on him. Like you'll be like, babe, can you rub my feet? And I hate feet. Feet. he I asks have, you to rub his feet he will always ask me to rub his feet i almost feel like that fool does it on purpose because he knows i don't like feet like we <laughs> he's known me for a long time and he knows like oh, feet are not God. my thing but i feel like it's like this thing that he just like i'm hoping she changes her mind with me and i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest go there's a lot of men with nice feet but my man has some of the nicest cleanest feet I beg to differ. Yeah, he's he's just. There's no way. He he really does. Are you going piecitos. to suck them? I will not. <laughs> I will not because then I have. They're a not thing. that pretty. I have a thing with feet. <laughs> he knows they're not it. that pretty. No, and then we talk about like, okay, he's like, okay, if we have a baby. Are you gonna be like this with the baby's feet? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell, the baby's feet are so cute. No, they smell like goat cheese and fess <laughs> up to it. I'm like, there is no way. I'm going to be stuck here smelling a baby's feet. Helen, I'm like, they stink. Baby's feet are cute. Like queso. Well, in a queso. No, they're next to. They, they're, but they, they're stanky. You know, so I was like, there's no way. But, you know, it's, but but I get pleasure mm-hmm. making him happy, making yeah. him a hot meal, a really good meal that he's just like, I see his face and he's always like, man, babe, this is delicious. And I'm like, yeah. You know, Helen used to never cook, you guys. She was on Top Chef. What is it called? Top Chef VIP. Top so it's it's like a celebrity Top Chef. And mm-hmm. I went and I had no idea how to cook anything. But I learned how to cook a bunch of stuff. Yes. I am about to have a Top Chef VIP here against Jenny Ka. Helen, why don't we do that? We have to do a versus. Yeah. We have to do a versus. You guys, Helen has stayed over the house. And like, you know, we've talked about it like, she doesn't cook. That's totally I, fine. I Some not. people, it's not for them. Exactly. When she went on the show, I was amazed and so proud. <laughs> She's way better than me. No, 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 no. We are in different categories, my love, because she made a bread pudding the other day. It was a banana pudding mm. that changed my freaking life. But I'm going to tell you something. It's because, you know, at the end of the day, like, that thing is flashing. No. At the end of the day, I was like, okay, I, I that is kind of weird. She is flashing. You know what that means? The light is flashing, guys. When the light is flashing like that, usually it means that you are surrounded by guided angels. Really? Absolutely. I didn't know that. Look at it flashing more with the charger. There. It is not a flashable light. It's just flashing. Yeah. That makes me happy. We were talking about different situations, your mama. That yes. That makes me happy. But anyway, back to well, the cooking. Okay. I want to be able to like... I want to be able to have like kids that are like, oh my God, like I'm proud of my mom. Like my mom made me these hot meals. Like, okay, my that's mom, my like, next question. Yeah. Are you ready for kids? Holy 
Dickerson. Okay, I don't think you're ever fully ready. Oh, and I asked that like at, oh. like because she's my friend because I know a lot of people yeah. get very offended I and I respect everybody, but because yeah. this is like I'm close Absolutely. to her and I know her. Yeah, because I, I respect and, and you as well. I, you know what? I didn't think about that. What you're saying now because. It's it's sometimes it could be difficult for some yeah. people because they're not able to or they're of having course. a difficult time or whatever you want to call it, you know. But JP and I have always reverted to OG contraceptives, mm -hmm. condoms, you know, mm -hmm. and we've never had a, a scare, thank God. And I just think it's because God knew like, holy crap, they're already in in a hole like mm -hmm. back in that time when we were really bad in a hole like there's no way like they can barely survive like they're they're not gonna be able to survive with a child yeah i was gonna be my mom like living in a car with this baby i'm like there's just no way like uh -huh. because it, it did it happened a few days we slept in the car like it was like and we never told anybody we never told our parents we never told our families like it was just like we're gonna keep this to ourselves and we're gonna figure it out and we did we ended up slowly but surely like figuring things out and now i think like I want to make sure that these kids have a healthy lifestyle. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm I'm in a good place mentally. I started going to therapy a few months ago, and really? I've learned so much about myself. It? I love it. But I've also been like, fuck. Like, in some situations, I'm the drama. Yeah. I'm the problem. I am <laughs> like, the problem. I am the problem. Like, yep. I need to fix x y and z about myself and there's so much power i think in accountability and so many people don't know that because they're afraid they're afraid to say in this situation i was the dick i i was wrong i made the mistakes i need to apologize and you know once i once i started doing that i think it started to get better for me but then you know there are situations where i'm like uh i'm not the culprit here like yeah the, because yeah. i'm aware now i'm self-aware and i know you know what I'm doing right and wrong. I'm like, in this situation, there's no way. Like, aquí no la cagué yo. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm I, the one that's, like, expecting an apology. And sometimes you're not going to get it. And unfortunately, that was one of my biggest problems. Wow. And that was something that was taking me to be, like, low-key a little bit, like, unhappy. So I was like, I can't have kids if I'm unhappy. You know, not even, like, I left a part, like, the financial part, the schooling part, all that shit, because low-key, this baby's not gonna go to school till he's, like, three, four, or, you know, she's not three, four. So I'm like, okay, esa parte ni, ni se diga. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. My thing was more like, I want to make sure this child is healthy, health-wise, like, you know, but healthy here too yes, and they're not of course yeah they're not seeing you don't want to bring generational curses exactly yeah exactly i feel that well i can't oh. wait for a little i'm excited nugget. because i've seen jenica as an auntie jenica is a phenomenal auntie helen and this child <laughs> this child man or woman is going to have phenomenal aunties what do you want I think I'm a boy mom. And this is, this. it's not even about what I want. I've been seeing blue everywhere. Really? All over the place. All over. The, I've been dreaming this little boy. He looks just like his dad. Thank God, because holy moly. That little shit. Yeah. He's been looking like japes. <laughs> He's going to have cute feet, but I'm not going to smell them. You know, it's not going to happen. I hope that this child helps you. It will. I, I know. Like helps you smell feet. <laughs> smell his feet. <laughs> That's I'm gonna get I over want. my my foot phobia. Yes. <laughs> I have a foot phobia, guys. I don't like feet. Okay, cheers to your foot phobia. Cheers and to, to my foot future phobia. babies that I cannot wait to meet. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Career wise, Helen, what's Oof. next for you? Where are you seeing yourself? Okay, so your sister actually gave me this idea a, a couple years ago. She's like, you know what I think would be amazing is if you did an album dedicated to love she's like and this is when i when i had just gotten married she's like it would be awesome if you did like a an album dedicated to love epic maybe wedding, by the way yeah, she's like may, maybe maybe dedicated to your husband you can call it mrs santos and i was like oh my god that's beautiful i took my time we did a few songs and we never did love songs and now that i'm in this stage i think where we're thinking about having kids i'm like this is the perfect time this is the perfect time now I can do songs about love, not just for him, you know, but for this little being, this little person that I'm hoping <laughs> develops. Happen. I'm hoping it happens. You know, now obviously, ideally, you know, everything goes as planned. But sometimes you, you, you tell God your plans and he just laughs in your face, you know. But for sure. I'm, I'm just thinking like ahead of time. I'm thinking, you know, theoretically what I want to happen, but 
I'm, I'm, I would hope that this, this album would come out while I'm like with child. Like I have this, this Honestly, little person I in my belly. I feel like that baby will, excuse me, be conceived to one of the songs that you show, Jake. Absolutely. Call me when it happens. Absolutely. I will. And thank you. Well, my <laughs> Helen. I love you so much. I love you I thank you, too, you so much for being here. I cannot wait for you to have babies. You are like an older sister to me. And you are you are a phenomenal little sister. Oh, I, love I love you, kiddo. I love you more, Helen. <laughs> no, but for real, thank you so much because I know you had a long day. Aww. <sighs> Hanging out with my sister. <laughs> we, had, we had a long day talking about different I fun things. Hard topics. <laughs> Just really, really hard, hard topics. Super hard, extremely hard topics. <laughs> hard, <laughs> veiny topics. <laughs> this is why I can't hang out with them, I swear. No, but for I love you so much. Thank and I'm you, so babe. proud of I you. And I thank you for thank honoring you. my mom in every way possible. Aww, thank you, babe. And you don't have to. Thank you. And I love Japes. Oh, he loves so you too. much. He loves you too. I love him Victor. and I love you. And I thank you. And I cannot wait to see where your future go- goes <laughs> career wise and as a person yourself thank you babe. possibly being a mother hey. looks like i need an apartment in guadalajara <laughs> <clears throat> that would be awesome Find even though I, a I little wedding awesome. over there yes from tequila please or arandas or tepa they have blue eyes and they're blonde please hit and they're tall her dm so that she can send it to me thank you please. no okay well thank you guys so much for listening watching please make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next tuesday Overcome for Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.